Hello, in this video I would like to show how to exclude contacts in a data extension from a campaign using deselect in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. By the way, all the scenarios that we use for those videos can be found on our support portal on Zendesk. Here on Zendesk, under the demo data package, you can find all the scenarios that we use for those videos. You can also order a demo data package by contacting support at deselect.io. So the first thing that we need to do is to actually open Deselect, which can be found in Salesforce Marketing Cloud under App Exchange. Then you will be redirected to this overview page and we're going to click New Selection. So first thing that we need to do is to actually give a name to our new selection. We're going to simply name it Scenario 2. So we would like to email our subscribers and have a data extension of people we would like to exclude from our campaign. So we're going to start by actually finding a data view subscribers and drag and drop it to the right. By the way, all the data views that are available in Salesforce Marketing Cloud are also available in Deselect. We're going to press save and now we're going to find a data extension called emails to exclude and drag and drop it on top of data view subscribers. Here we can give an allies to our data extension. We're going to simply name it emails to exclude and press save. Now we're going to define relationship between subscribers data view based on subscriber key without matching emails to exclude and select email here and press save. Great, now we can move on to our target definition. So here we can choose from an existing data extension or we can create a new data extension. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to give a name to our new data extension. We're going to call it scenario two. We can choose if our data extension is going to be sendable and testable and press save. Now we can track the fields from our source data view. We're going to drag and drop subscriber key to the right and save this data extension. Now we're going to actually run the preview and the preview will return us the first 20 results of a selection that we're going to create. And if we're satisfied with the results, we can then press run and the selection will be run inside Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So now we can see that there are six records out of six records in total and here we can actually see the subscriber key. So that's it for today's video and thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this and check out our website at deselect.io. The link can be found in the description to this video and make sure to have a look at our support portal on Zendesk, the link to which can be also found in the description.